In this training video, we will discuss how to use Google Classroom as a learning management system. Before we get started, we recommend you check out this checklist for a quick tutorial on how to use Classroom effectively. All links in this step will be located and available in the description below. Over the last year, we've seen Classroom become a center for teaching and learning as we've expanded our capabilities. Classroom is a place where all of your customers' critical education workflows come together in one platform. Classroom seamlessly connects to our popular productivity tools like Google Docs, Sheets, Meet, Slides, and more. Aside from simplifying workflows, Classroom also gives admins increased visibility and control from the admin console. With the ability to facilitate implementation across a school, district, or at the countrywide level. As with all of our Google products, we lean on the world's most advanced digital security system to serve under the hood for Classroom. Change, as this past year has proven, is inevitable in education. So as the needs of institutions continue to evolve, Classroom has evolved as well. We rely on feedback that comes directly from educators to build our products, which is why we are used by over 140 million teachers worldwide. One of the critical workflows for educators is grading. In Classroom, we offer a teacher-friendly interface, even on mobile devices, to meet teachers where they are and allow them to grade on the go. Google Classroom's Gradebooks allows teachers to track student progress holistically while grades sync, which is available with the growing list of SISs, and saves time for teachers after they have completed the grading process. Classroom also offers tools to make it easier for teachers to provide rich feedback for students, including rubrics and a customizable comment bank. You can also set up guardian summaries to keep parents informed on their students' assignments, deadlines, and any missing work. We also know the importance of encouraging critical thinking with students while creating their work. With originality reports, we enable students and teachers the ability to scan their work before submitting and flag any missing citations. Not only are we scanning against the external resources located outside of a customer's domain, but we also scan internally against a domain-specific repository of past student work. While using the full feature, your customers will need to have a paid SKU, such as Teaching and Learning Upgrades, or EDU+. We found this to be a key selling point and can allow for your customers to possibly free up funding with other third-party products that they were using. If you're interested in taking a deep dive and learning more about originality reports, We've created a video that takes a deeper dive for you to explore that is located later in this video playlist series. We're going to shift to talking here about some of our newest features and those rolling out this year. We've included some of the new features in the Fundamental Edition that address top teacher requests, equity, and safety concerns. We'll also be demoing exciting new paid features like roster import and classroom add-ons Coming to all SKUs this year is a feature that will help teachers and co-teachers easily schedule assignments to multiple classes at once. This is the number one most requested feature by teachers and has been a big blocker to deeper adoption. So we really believe that this is going to be very exciting for our teachers. So if you have customers who want to assign a Macbeth essay to all of their English section, they can now do so with just a few clicks. Set it and forget it. Coming soon, we're launching offline capabilities in the Classroom Android mobile app. With offline mode, there's a whole new world of possibilities where learning can keep going regardless of connectivity. Students will be able to start their work offline, review their assignments and attachments, and write assignments in Google Docs, all without an internet connection. And then they'll be able to submit their assignments once they're back online. And finally, we're making powerful updates to how teachers can use Google Meet in Classroom, making it easier, safer, and more secure. First, students will have to sit in the meeting waiting room until a teacher has joined the meeting link. Next, guests not on the classroom roster will have to ask to join, so no unwanted participants can get into the class. And finally, all co-teachers in a class will also automatically be co-host in the meeting, and only students listed in the classroom roster will be able to join the Meet. Let me show you some of the best perks with the new feature. First, let's create a Meet link for our classroom course with this button on the left. Teachers can make this visible or not visible to their students at any time. Previously, teachers had to go into class settings to manage the Meet link, 
but now it's right on the stream. Now as a student, I'm unable to join the classroom meet link unless the host or teacher is present. This means students can't be in a meeting unsupervised. Once you join from the teacher side, students can join automatically. If the teacher joins first before students, students can then join without needing to knock or sit in the waiting room. And if you have a guest speaker or someone outside of your school's domain, they also would have to ask to join before joining the class. This will block any unwanted guest from joining a meeting. So when this launches, all co-teachers in a class will also automatically be co-host in the meeting, and only students listed in the classroom roster will be able to join the meet. We're really excited about all these adjustments to make using Meet in Classroom more secure and seamless. And this is just the tip of the iceberg for Meet integrations. We also have exciting news and updates to share with regard to classroom add-ons. This will be coming out to beta very soon for customers in the U.S. and will be part of the teaching and learning upgrades, as well as Education Plus SKU. Worth noting that this will also be able to be rolled out internationally once we roll this out for all users. At this time, it's only available for beta with our customers in the U.S. And with these add-ons, we're partnering with the best EdTech tools, so you can seamlessly bring your favorite content right into Classroom. Here are the nine partners that we're going to start with. Adobe Spark, Book Widgets, CK12, Edpuzzle, IXL, Kahoot, Nearpod, Newzella, and Safari Montage. Let me show you how add-ons work with an example. Take Book Widget. First, as a teacher, you go to create an assignment like you're used to, filling out some of the typical instructions and adding some attachments. But this is where add-ons comes in. You select the Add-ons button and open Book Widget to find an assignment and assign to the class. On the student side, they see the assignment in the stream and click to view the instructions. Then they open the Book Widget attachment, and the assignment opens up where they can do their work. Notice they never have to leave Classroom or don't have to do a separate sign-in. Once they've finished their work, they simply click Turn In. On the teacher side, they're now ready to grade. They click on the student's name and can see the student's work in line in Classroom's grader view. They can add a comment and then return at the top. This will automatically pass the grade back to Classroom's gradebook. With that, let's slide right in with the updates on one of Classroom's top requested features, Roster Import. U.S. districts with Google Workspace for Education Plus SKU will be able to automatically set up classes and keep rosters in sync with their student information system, powered by Clever. IT admins will create classes via Clever, meaning teachers will no longer need to manually create classes and invite students to join them, saving teachers loads of valuable prep time. And this will not overwrite any classes that teachers have already created individually. So we have a setup guide that has been created for you. You will have access to this link and be able to easily share this with your customers as you're teaching them and showing them about this feature. So there are many other resources that you will have access to. What we want to do is take a deeper dive into some of the most commonly asked questions that come up when we're working and when we're sharing about this exciting feature with our customers. So one of those questions is just around the overriding functionality. So when our school district leaders are actually creating and running the roster import, it will not overwrite what has already been created in a classroom for a teacher. So as you can see here, teachers have the ability to either accept or decline the classes that administrators are creating using the roster import functionality. Some of the things that the classroom roster import feature will do is it will create courses and enroll users based on both the SIS and the Clever data. You will be able to start and run this at the district level, or at the school level, or at the teacher level. So we really worked in partnership and collaboration with administrators to make sure that we understood the flexibility and personalization needed to run this feature. And automatically, rosters will be updated based on the changes that take place in both the SIS and Clever. We also allow teachers to automatically and manually add and remove students and co-teachers from the class after they're already created using roster import. So we're not taking away any of the flexibility that already exists. 
The goal of this feature and functionality is to make it so that at the district level for your customers, they're able to really create and launch all of the classes and rosters, leveraging their SIS and Clever. And here are some of the things that you want to make sure your customers understand that the Classroom Roster Import feature will not do. So one, it will not create, modify, or delete accounts in Classroom. It'll also not manually create courses or alter manually created courses in the Classroom, as we spoke about before. And it will not write grades back to the district's SIS. So we spoke briefly earlier about that grade syncing functionality. This is not going to do that for you. That's another feature that we have. Finally, we wanted to share how we're always improving on our analytics. So we know that as administrators, it's very important to be able to see and understand ROI on using Google Classroom. As you're working with customers, we know that it's very important for all of the district leaders that you're working with to be able to track and understand both engagement and ROI while using Google Classroom. So what we've done is we've partnered with BigQuery, which is not a supported workspace product, that will allow them to be able to export their data and then leverage Data Studio, which everyone has access to, to really create templates to show and display all of the engagement and usage stats at the top level for analytics to make sure that they're continuously improving at the district level. This is a feature that you will have access to on the Google for Education standard and the EDU Plus edition and SKU. And with that, we wanted to thank you for listening to this training. And if you have any further questions, there's plenty of resources to guide you and your customers. First, you have the Partner Advantage, where we have customizable one-pagers and pitch decks that you can utilize in your sales conversation. Additionally, there are a number of Help Center articles, like how to connect Classroom to your SIS, how to set up an SIS roster import, and a tutorial on how to use originality reports. Those links will also be provided in the comments below. And if you have a U.S. district or customer, we have a very detailed setup guide with more step-by-step -step instructions to import class rosters via Clever. We hope you enjoyed this training. Be sure to check out other topics related to Google Workspace for Education below.